What's up guys, my name is Giovanni and in today's video we're going to be unboxing the new iPhone 13 Pro Max Sierra Blue 128 gigabytes. Uh, I upgraded from the iPhone 8 Plus so it is a big upgrade. I'm excited to show you guys this and I hope you guys are too. Let's do this. Before I unbox this phone, I'm going to show you guys what I was using previously, the iPhone 8 Plus. I've used it for quite a while now. Yes, it is cracked. I'm going to give it away. It's not going to be useful anymore and I just don't want to keep it there. The back as well is cracked. I'm going to be replacing the back and the front. This phone is going away. Goodbye. It has done its duties. Now time to unbox the iPhone 13 Plus. Let's make sure nothing is inside. I've seen so many TikTok videos where they they add some extra accessories inside. So never mind, there's nothing inside. And the time is here. Ding, 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 ding. Along with the iPhone, we get a lightly USB-C. I'm surprised that the iPhones don't come with a charger anymore and outlet white stickers. Let me show you guys something that came with my M1 MacBook Pro. Black stickers. Pretty cool. Different from the white Apple logo. Which one do you guys prefer? Same card extractor. One thing I do like about this phone is the size, colorway, the cameras. I'm excited to use this. The only thing I would say that I don't really like at the moment, full of fingerprints if I don't add a case. My hands are very oily, so anytime that I grab anything, I'm gonna leave fingerprints behind. I can tell already there are smudges starting. They're not visible, but if you take a close look, they are. Okay, let's boot up the phone. Going over the face ID. This is one of the things I enjoy about this phone. Also, you're able to zoom in and zoom out. You see that crop on the sides. Whenever people upload videos with a certain aspect ratio, we're able to do this, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna run through a few tests, taking pictures, 60 by nine. This is the aspect ratio that I prefer for social media, YouTube, and other social platforms. As you guys can see, the image is pretty clear. It's high quality. This is totally an upgrade from iPhone 8 Plus. Look at this, it tracks the face. It's looking for him. You see how minute the space is and it still tracks his face. This is pretty cool. Now, let's switch over to video. The video looks pretty clean, I like it. The only thing I would say is the sharpness when it comes to skin tones, my skin looks a little bit too dry or just too sharp. Other than that, it looks pretty cool. Guys, I'm excited to use this new widget that Apple released. I'm late to the game, but I'm excited I have it now with me. If you guys enjoy this type of content, leave a comment down below. If you guys have this phone or are looking to upgrade, what do you guys think about this phone? I'm curious, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.